Well, hey there, everybody. Matt Kloskowski here, and uh, got a very, very quick video for you here on some recent updates to Lightroom. Uh, Lightroom Classic CC, that is. So we are on 7.5 as of uh, like the third week of August 2018, Adobe updated Lightroom 7.5. You can go to your Creative Cloud updater or you can go into Lightroom to help updates, whatever, however, however you do it. If you're using Lightroom, make sure you update or using the, the latest version of Classic, make sure you update. Okay, let's dive into the updates. Uh, thing number one, probably the biggest area that, you know, for me is you'll see presets look a little bit different inside of the presets panel. And what they're using are these little lines in here that are clusters. So a cluster, it actually came from uh, about four months ago when Adobe released the profiles over in the basic panel. If you dug in through there, you'll see that things were clustered by you know, little lines through there. And this makes it so that different people where you get different presets like my Matt K ones, um, which by the way, you can get at mattk.com slash profiles. Um, there's a free pack there and there's also a, a good deal on my bundle. But um, it makes for people that, that make them or if you make your own, it lets you cluster them into sections to make it easier to get to. So if you bought some from somebody else, theirs would be in a different cluster separated. Same deal goes over here in presets. So you'll now see some lines in between there. Um, and then you'll notice a couple other things. You can go into presets. You can, of course, uh, still come inside of here and manage your presets. So if you find like, I don't really ever use the curve ones. I don't ever use the grain. I don't ever use sharpening. Um, I don't ever use the creative and color. I can just go over there and click on save and I can hide them. Sometimes you don't use them a lot. Sometimes you do, you're afraid to delete them and all that stuff. So uh, that's just a real easy way to keep things a little bit cleaner there. Okay, but the big thing is, is that you'll now see these little lines inside of there that are clustered. The other thing that you'll see, to me, this is huge. Um, when you go over, if you go over here to your profile section, okay, and you click on that little grid icon to open up the profile browser, you're gonna see the plus icon up here. Same thing under presets, you're gonna see the little plus icon up here and you can click on it. So two things have changed. Thing number one, which is kind of big, but not, not to me earth shattering, is that when you click on it and you click to import, um, you can now import zip files. So I, I actually distribute my presets in zip file format. And then my install video, I always have to tell people, unzip it and then come up here and import your presets and select them all and bring them in. But now you can actually import the zip file, which is pretty nice. But here's the other thing. Profiles have been such a pain in the butt to get into Lightroom because there really hasn't been an import button for profiles. When you come up here, there's now an import for profiles, which to me, it just, it's so huge because it just makes it so much easier. If you've already got them in there, not a big deal, but um, take it from somebody that's had to explain it many, many times. Having a little import up there is huge. Okay, uh, next biggest changes are gonna be in the book module. So I'm gonna go and I have a page here that's got two cells. Let's just go drag, uh, let's drag a photo into one cell and then I'll drag another photo into another cell. So some of the, the bigger changes are that we can now change cell sizes. So we can go over here and change the size of a cell. It used to be that, it used to be that the only thing that we could really do was change the size of a photo in a cell, which was just kind of weird because it didn't give you the control that you wanted. But now you can make a cell as big or as small as you want. Um, and then once you have your photo inside that cell, you can drag around and you can get the exact composition um, that you want of that photo inside of there. Uh, another thing that you'll notice is that you can actually change the size of a cell to overlap um, with other photos inside of there as well. Uh, there is a page number section inside of here, and one of the new features is being able to dis uh, control the location and display of those page numbers. So that's definitely something to check out. Um, and probably some of the biggest changes inside of here are going to be under the book settings. Uh, you will notice a couple of new books. You have Blurb Magazine and Blurb Trade Book. And then under Paper Type, uh, you also have the standard lay flat. So best thing you can do with that is just head over to Blurb's website and you could see what the books look like. So you could see that's a trade book. Um, here's a magazine. And then here's what the lay flat books look like. Okay, so if you want more information about those, best thing to do is just head over to Blurb, see what they look like on their website. A couple other final little things to uh, clean up with. Uh, if you're a Windows user, but you use like an iPhone, 
Um, you know, the iPhone supports that HEIC, that high efficiency image format. Well, if you're a Windows user, Lightroom on Windows didn't support that format. Now it does. So that has been a, uh, a new feature added in 7.5. And then lastly, uh, a while back, Facebook stopped supporting desktop applications like Lightroom to automatically upload to Facebook. So that, that feature has gone away. Um, what would happen is under public services, your Facebook section was just grayed out. You couldn't do anything, so you couldn't access any collections that you made inside of there. Now at least you can go in there and you can get any collections that you made inside of Facebook and save them out into regular collections. But the number one thing to take from this is this does not mean the feature is back. The feature is not back. It's just now you have access to some of those collections that you can create it and you can make another collection, a regular Lightroom collection from those photos, but it does not re-enable that feature. Facebook took it away, so uh, we'll have to wait on them for that one, okay? Folks, hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and as I mentioned early, if you want to check out my Lightroom profiles, just head over to mattk.com profiles, and you can find out more about them as well as download a free profile pack.